Ah. All right, I got great news for you guys. We have a working car. No more idling problems. Oh, we're taking the dog out to go to the bathroom. No more service engine code. I mean, I test drove this earlier and it never came up. I've been reading it, reading the ECU for codes, DTCs or whatever they're called. We really should let this warm up a bit. We're just going down the road to, to GameStop to grab a copy of Wii Sports because we thought we'd play some Wii Sports. Hi, girly. You were with me doing the test drive earlier, weren't you? Yeah. So everything still works, shifting still works. The service engine light was not being caused by the MAF sensor. More than likely it was being caused by the O2 sensors because with these headers, you need to turn off the secondary sensors, not the primary ones. You can't run the car without the primary ones. Um, trying to do so would be not a great idea as far as I understand it. And I don't understand much in this world. Um, but we've revised the tune so that the car will run and it won't go into some kind of weird limp mode because I think that's what was happening earlier. No service engine light. Hopefully I didn't blow a, a gasket <laughs> running the wrong type of tune. What are you up to? What are you up to? You gonna get back in your chair? Yeah? Okay. I'd say we're good for temp. We can head on home. They don't have it. I guess Wii Sports is a bit a bit niche, Ellie. How do I how do I get there we go. Ellie couldn't find Wii Sports. We'll just Hi. We'll just have to find it online. Um but at least I can show you guys that the car is still working and I can plug the laptop in real quick to show you that it's not having any DTC codes of any concern, at least through the RK Tune software. Not really that fast. You can tell the, um, if you've driven the car stock before, you can tell the power delivery has changed because of the um, the the nature of the headers, the design. Unless if you really really change the tune, specialized for these headers, the there's a bit more uh, lag in the delivery of the power. It um, it's not as instantaneous on the low end. Sounds good. Sounds like a single turbo inline six of some kind. All right, so let's go to F3, not communication system, I can't remember. Is it that? It's probably engine. There it is. Initial, ugh, initialization error. So that's that's the error with that. I can't even do the, um, adaptations anymore for whatever reason. So let's go to the Diag thing. Let's see what DTCs we have. We got exhaust exhaust gas temperature sensor. I kind of expected that. We got some misfire things here. Misfire multiple cylinders. A cylinder cutout. I'll take a picture of that. I can send that to uh, Jordan. He's the one that caught me making some posts saying here's the car and I was showing off the pop and bang tune on Instagram and he saw that and messaged me and said is this your header setup and he and then so we had to uh, revise the tune so I've I've put in the revised tune I'll send him the picture I just took of these DTCs over to him I'll just email that to him now I'm gonna turn everything off now turn off that light and um I will sh shut off this. Oh I'm just going to show them the uh, scratch on the door because that's great. And then we'll, uh, then I'll head back inside, okay? There it is. Right here. See that line? That line there is a little bit of an indentation 
in the passenger side door, right here, there's a scratch and a bit of an indentation. It's really hard to show in this lighting. But yeah, that's the test drive. I mean, it works. It's not struggling to idle anymore, but it might have some issues now because, <laughs> because we were running it so long and so hard on the wrong tune, so it might be a little too late. All right, first things first. And... Perfect. All right, so as you guys probably remember in the last clip, I, it's been a few weeks, I've got a couple things to work on today. Uh, I sent RK Tunes, Jordan, the, uh, some data logs made with BMW Logger. I can show you how that works in a sec to try and figure out why we had some misfire codes. And he's, the first thing he's told me to do is reset, uh, I think DME adaptations, reset all adaptations, then see if it fixes the issues. So I'll see if uh, that, that fixes uh, it. I'll show you guys what happens when I try and start it. I cleared the codes with INPA. It took, it was a bitch and a half to get INPA to start working. For some reason, the COM port uh, numbers weren't lining up. Everything's supposed to be COM port one, and for some reason, the INI settings file for one of them was set to COM eight, which is why nothing was working, so I couldn't log anything. I could only read the, the engine codes and stuff, barely. But uh, INPA wasn't working, logger wasn't working, a whole bunch of stuff wasn't working. Now it all should be working and I'll show you. And I want to even turn that on, get out the OBD2 wire, which I haven't even unplugged. This car is probably just gonna spend a lot of its life with an OBD2 wire just constantly plugged in, just for my convenience. We will turn on the electronics. Now what we're going to do is not open freaking Discord. Close everything else. I hate apps that open automatically on startup. It's so freaking dumb. Whoever ever thought of that is just a horrible person. Now, let's open BMW Logger. It should work just fine. I'm saying that, probably won't, and I'll spaz out. Oh, cool. Let's press the connect button. Data logging. I'm gonna press record. Check the codes, retrieve codes. I'm not getting any, which is fascinating. Now, let's try and start it. It says service engine soon on, on the dash, though that might not actually be, we'll see. Jesus, guys. All right. It started on the second try. And we're gonna let her warm up, see if we got any codes from that, I'm trying to start up. Let's try and rev it. I didn't touch it yet. I'm, I'm logging this, which is kind of fun. But the service engine like turned off when I started it and then turned itself back on. I'm gonna check and see. So the log even stopped, but I think it's idling better now. Let's see if we got the startup in the log. All right, now I'm going to hit clear the adapts. Did it do it? I'll be honest, I don't know what that did. I'll even do it in um, Jordan software. I pressed clear on Jordan software and it did something. It makes the engine rev. Now the EML light is on. I restarted the car. Now the EML light isn't there. Okay. Let's go back to BMW logger for a second here. Oh, hold on. Connect. Read codes. I'm not getting any. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit clear adapts again because that seems to have maybe fixed the issue. I'm not sure. Let's read the DTCs on his software just for fun. See what it says. Air pump relay. Hit clear. Give it like a sec. Hit read. Noise damper regulator. 
Well, we don't care about regulating noise. Air pump relay, noise damper regulator. And then if we go to INPA, if I go to F9, will it let me do the special tests? Oh, it will. So if I do, oh, hold on. Need to have accessories on. Let's do this. Well, I can't read that. Why is it in a different language all of a sudden? That's not f***ing fair. I don't know what it's saying anymore. Okay, well, while it does that, I can get ready for the sponsorship that you guys have probably already seen me do, but I need to get all the supplies for it. I don't know whether I needed to bleed the actuator or not, but it's mostly just a test to make sure it's working. Okay, we're gonna do some quick logging real quick, and I think we're good car stuff wise for today got some truck stuff I need to do I'm gonna turn on BMW logger I'm gonna do some pulls I'm gonna put it into shift mode 6 we're gonna connect BMW logger and it should be working start recording here we go Here goes. All right, let's see if that generated any codes. Retrieve codes. I don't see anything. Save that, put it into accessory mode for now. Now let's see what Jordan's software says. And that was just that was just one test drive, one quick pull. It did try to stall a couple times, but I don't think that's necessarily f alarming, but let's read the DTCs. Okay, so we still got some misfires, four and five multiple cylinders without cutout cylinder cutout. Okay, I'll email him all that. And uh, we'll see. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hello. I'm back. Ignore the bed hair. It's my time off. I don't really care about how I look. I'm just chillaxing. We're going to take the M3 for a test drive. And Ellie is here. Mom is off getting her hair done, getting all beautiful. Not that she wasn't already beautiful. We're going to plug the laptop back into the car. Um, apparently, resetting the DME ad uh, adaptations while the engine is running doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do i'll show you guys what we need to make sure it's fixed so let us oh grab my obd2 wire which just lives permanently in my uh car now plugged in ready to go what we're gonna do basically is and obviously you guys may have noticed this because you might be more eagle-eyed than i am uh there's six i think it's fuel pressure values you need to keep an eye on and the first bank was not the same as the second bank. So fuel injectors one through three were reading the same number, but then four and six were reading the same number, but was different to the first three, if that makes sense. I'll show you in the logs. It's a good thing I recorded the logs. Um, they should all be reading the same. All six injectors should be reading the same thing. Right, Ellie? Yeah. Yep. Even my kid knows better. Why is my computer updating? <laughs> so first things, first thing, first thing, first. Warm, warm idle after, and we'll press play on that. So if you look here, fuels one through three should be reading the same as four, five, and six. I'm pretty sure, and uh, they're not. Oh, I just got a message on my phone about my uh, Mustang that's over there that is for sale. Um, but disconnect or, or stop let's connect why is discord still open i thought i closed all the windows let's go to bmw logger i'll just log this for jordan at rk tunes everything should be fine all right we're data logging we shouldn't have any codes we don't have any we're gonna start logging and we'll do the startup
Hey, look at that. They're, they're all reading the same. Okay. So that's promising. My en service engine light even went away. We're going to back this out now so we don't poison ourselves with the fumes. Let it warm up for a bit and take it out for a drive. And we'll see how she does. I'll save that log and I'll put the laptop on the seat next to me. Okay. If I press the sport button, it should also raise the idle. Oh, it didn't change it. That might have been part of the things that could have been a tell as to what that something was wrong. Ellie, I'm not very observant, but it's not my job to be. Wow. Wow. She just goes, I know. Dad, you're not that, you, you don't pay attention. Wow. Get out. A Fiat 500 is ahead of us. A car I'm only really familiar with, thanks to Top Gear, but every time I see it now, I kind of think of the fact that Richard Hammond had one. Okay, let's try and do a poll. We're actually logging this time. I haven't got any check engine lights. All the fuel fuel things are still reading the same thing. Apparently I'm vlogging still. I don't know. Let's just go with shut up. Nah. And we'll see uh, if it's reading any codes when I find a place to park. Well, because we're stalkers and we found Heather's car, uh, we're just parked at the mall. No misfires. So that's good. I think we might have resolved the mis the misfire issue. Hey, redhead! I'm dating a redhead now. That looks really cool. Look at that. I thought you really like it. I I do like it. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Food. Okay. I think Miss Ellie wants food. You want food? Yeah. You want food? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's. I know. I'm just trying for what. So thick. What are you doing in my backpack? Get out of my backpack! Oh Christ! I accidentally packed you guys with me while heading off to work. But hey, I'm heading to St. Charles now, so at least I can show you the really awful construction they got going on there. Because I love calling out poorly run cities. <laughs> Someone get me out of the Midwest. So it should be up here as we get catch up to this uh, Chevy Cobalt. Oh, here we go. Yep, the zigzags are still here. Look at this. I've got a 50 foot trailer and I'm trying to not slam anybody into that concrete wall. There's a car on the left here. It's a good thing there's no one on the lane to my right because they would have no room. Look at this, we're still going, we're still zigging and zagging. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. There's someone on my right now. Oh, okay, since there's no room, I'm not even gonna bother trying to cross that intersection. But did you see that? Good old Missouri construction. Oh, here we go. I just wanted to show you guys that I just wanted to shame the people responsible for that. I don't actually know who they are, so I can't specifically shame them as much as I'd like to. But it also keeps me from getting sued, I think. Oh, man. 
my neck hurts because I slept on it wrong. Well, I, two, two nights ago I slept badly and my neck was kind of sore. And then I guess last night I managed to sleep in the exact same way. So now the pain is so bad I can barely move my head. And even moving my arm kind of hurts in my kind of neck shoulder area, which is nice. Oh, I hate this. This is pain. I hate this. This is pain. No rest for the wicked. Um, though this will be the last bit of this vlog for today. Next time, next weekend, we'll be installing the GTR wheels onto the M3. So I just wanted to show those to you now so that you have something to look forward to for the next vlog. Oh, here we go. Unboxing of the wheels. <laughs> look at that that's so cool they look just like the GTR wheels on the M3 GTR but they're black look at this that's going on the E46 M3 oh man it's a uh, 275 if I remember correctly off the top of my head I should we're gonna put some Pilot Sport 4S all seasons on there. That is so sick. These wheels are so cool looking. Oh man. We'll be able to get some better lighting on these in the near future. I decided to wait until the end of the day to do this, which makes filming black wheels surprisingly a little awkward. There we go. Look at this. Black GTR wheels. I know some of you might have strong feelings about me going with black wheels, but man, and not going center lock and all that stuff, but I think this is gonna look sick. With the wrap, it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look sick on the car now because the car is black. It's gonna be all black. Oh, I can't wait. I think this is a good purchase. I think that these are such such pretty looking things and i've never seen anyone get the black versions before so that's also pretty cool but anyways thank you all for watching today's vlog and thank you all for watching today's video i'm tom the racing joker if you like what you've seen so far and you're not subscribed yet be sure to fix that by hitting that subscribe button i'm gonna go to bed i have work tomorrow <laughs> uh, uh. actual m3 gtr stuff coming your way very soon